Hey everybody, I'm Stephen Curtis Chapman. And I'm Mary Beth Chapman. And you're, and you're watching, watching 117 TV. TV. Imagine this, I get a phone call from Regis It says, do you want to be a millionaire? They put me on the show and I win with two life Well, what God has done in the past 10 years through the Chapman Family's organization, Show Hope, truly is a reason to celebrate, and we are so excited to be here with Stephen Curtis and Mary Beth Chapman. I was a dead man who was called to come out of my grave, and I think it's time. Wow, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah we're, we're so, so excited. We're pretty blown away. We've been walking around, seeing all the families and seeing what has happened these past 10 years, and it's uh, just kind of breathtaking. Absolutely. Well, let's brag mm. on God a little bit here because yes. we're talking about 4,000, is that right? More than 4,000 children who have been able to find forever homes because of what started out as, um, I would say, quite small 10 mm -hmm. years ago, but oh, really yeah. grew quickly, didn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a little couple of little seeds planted in our hearts when we came home with our three, uh, first of our three daughters, Shoei, uh, Shohanna, we came home to Nashville Airport uh, March of 2000, and it uh, seems like kind of last week, but that was a few years ago, <laughs> and we had families approach us there um, that said we would love to experience this miracle of adoption, but we just can't afford it. Wow. And we got home, and my wife said, we got to do something, because, you know, we just looked into the faces of some of those 140 million orphans in the world and and we saw that they weren't just a number and a cause but it was really little people with stories and lives waiting to be told and waiting to unfold and and so we started to help a little you know a family here and a family there and just started to dream about what if we could help 100 families you know with mm -hmm. that just experience that miracle of adoption that otherwise wouldn't be able to because of the financial barrier and then in the process of that um, what now 4, yeah, over 4,000 from 52 different countries. Wow. Um, it's just really humbling when you kind of just pull the scope back and go. It just seems like yesterday, and then at the same time, all these families that have stepped up and said, you know, we want to give this child a home, and then all these little ones that we've seen, and, and how God's just kind of helped show hope. Um, through Show Hope complete the cycle and put these uh, children in forever families and we've been privileged to be kind of the up close and personal witness but it's these families and it's these sponsors and coming together and um, a lot of people doing a little bit mm. creates this this picnic. I don't know if you got yeah. to see any of it, but it was amazing to see all these families that have shown up for this kind of reunion. Absolutely. And so many times I know that what you guys were finding and still find is it's not finding people who are willing, but helping to equip the people who do have the open hearts That's to right. do this, isn't it? Right. Yeah, right. absolutely. It's kind of putting the wind beneath their sails. You know, mm. it's just mm. the grant. most of the grants that Show Hope give are partial grants, and it's because we get to see and read these miracle stories of then schools getting you know behind these families churches mm -hmm. neighborhoods yeah. siblings i mean all of these little other little fundraisers that happen and then before you know it a whole community a whole you know city is involved with these kids and then the ripples go out and then it becomes much more about just this family than it's another several families. And right. So who knows in 10 more years how many it will be. It will be just, it'll be fun to, to watch. That is so exciting. And it's more than just connecting the families with their with their child. But talk a little bit about, um, you have four um, special care units now over in China, right? Yeah. That are helping, besides the big one, yeah. Yeah. Maria's Big yeah. House of Hope. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's been another part of, I think, the our, our first trip. You know, so much of this was born out of our first journey to China and walking through these places and our hearts getting broken. In particular, Mary Beth, and I need to let her speak to it because she was the <laughs> one who came home after a trip through um, just a very difficult place in one of the Chinese orphanages where she encountered one little girl in particular that um, was may not, may not, was not gonna much. survive, <laughs> was just not destined not to survive very long, um, needed a the uh, liver, a liver. Mm -hmm. and um, and you know just you could tell from the pictures I could tell from the pictures and she saw her, um, that she just probably wasn't gonna last very long and she just said we've got to I want to help this little girl and then I want to help all the little ones like her here in China especially that are you know really sick and, and could we do something to help them 
be healthy enough maybe to even get adopted because that's ultimately what we'd love to see them in a family. Right. But even if even if it's just to help them live out their days as short as they may be here with dignity, with love, with mm-hmm. someone there to, to even cry for them when they pass away. And um, so that's when the dreams kind of began for what became Maria's Big House of Hope and these special care facilities. And the really cool thing about that first little girl, and I, I think it was safe to say Chin Chin was the first to put yeah. that to break your heart and oh, that way absolutely. and uh, and she's here at our 10 year oh, celebration wow. to celebrate mm, with her full parents circle. yeah full with circle. her mm-hmm. mom and dad and uh, and she's healthy and she's amazing yep. I mean she's been through a lot thank you so much for spending time with us and congratulations thank you very much what we have celebrated tonight is life the life that we have because of the gift of God's grace and the life that we get to share Baby, get the word out Come on, crank up the music, climb a mountain and shout.